Wait, you was born with one arm? What's the worst joke you ever heard, bro? Uh, oh, I used to get called Nemo a lot. Hey. And then it was like other stuff. Like, I used to wonder, like, bro, like, how would I get arrested? Like, I used to always wonder that. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to tape your other hand down. <laughs> Yo, welcome to episode 84 of Crash Dummies Podcast. I'm Mike. That's Pat. That's Pat and I'm Mike. Um, if you listen to this on audio, make sure to rate us on five stars. Any, anything less than five stars, just keep it to yourself. Remember. Keep it to yourself, <laughs> <n-ish>. <laughs> Let's be honest. Keep your stars, uh, If audio, uh, YouTube listeners, comment below. What you guys like, topics you liked, and stuff like that, so we can interact with y'all in the comments. Patreon, y'all been going crazy. We just released um, some exclusive content. It was yeah. just about Trey and his friend to figure out uh, if Trey's really capping. So if you're on Patreon, you already saw it. If you're not, it's $1 for right now, just to, you know, $1 is just general support anyway. Honestly, I'm judging. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to keep it a bit. Yeah. If you claim that you're a fan and you don't spend a dollar, I just think you broke. <laughs> Nah, because it was no, funny. Get, it was funny because I'm like, tired of being nice about the shit. Get y'all broke ass on Patreon. <laughs> Every time somebody talks shit to me and they like, I'm a big fan of the show, but you talking shit to me, I'm gonna ask you have Patreon. That just lets me know you're a big fan of something. And you ain't yeah. even got a fucking dollar. The reason nah, and the plan. No, nah, the reason too. Nah, we, fuck y'all. <laughs> the reason we keep it a dollar for right now is because we don't want to commit full time to doing all extra content every week yeah. so the dollar is really meant to just be general support and sometimes you get the video podcast a little bit early somebody was like hey i don't want to pay a dollar just for that I'm like bro it's a dollar who cares if you guys want to generate more <laughs> we're not trying to make like we're not trying to make super bank with this it's just something we can do you know to general support Shut oh your ass up. i got the merch designs in I should have shown. Them. i'm about to send it to y'all nah. <laughs> but i sent it to pass so packing packing uh Attest to this that merch is coming soon. Yeah, we'll see y'all. <laughs> We're gonna have merch soon. We'll see y'all. And trust, um, you know, see, he didn't lie to y'all so many times. I, I wasn't like. been lying. I just said soon though. Just like once, once somebody says their dad's coming back home soon. You know what I hate? You know the only thing I hate about <laughs> Black History Month? <laughs> what? They just stuck to my joke. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> I said, you know, when people say their dads are coming back home soon. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? Why? We got a lot of followers whose dad is not there. That's kind of crazy. Ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fatherless ass niggas. No, Bro, I'm... chill. <laughs> I play, y'all. Uh, I could be your dad, though. You are dad. Huh? You I'm are. I can be their dad for them. So you want to be their daddy? <laughs> I knew you was going to be As soon as I said it, I was like, yeah. That ain't going to work out in my favor. Uh, but you know what I hate? The only thing I hate about Black History Month Why? is it's like America's reset to like all the shit that happens to black people through the year. Mm. <laughs> it's like all these uh, police brutality, um, racism going on, and... February, the shit just supposed to stop. Like, hey, it's y'all month. Like, hold on, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? It is a reset button. It's definitely a reset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what type of shit is this? <laughs> it's like, damn, damn, they shot Ray Ray. They shot Johnny. And some white dude come out like, wait, 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 wait. It's February. Where did George Washington Carver make? Peanut butter. <laughs> I always forget like, that. What the fuck? That is some, we gotta, uh, we gotta um, start looking at more inventions black people make because that's like the one they always highlight yeah is the peanut butter one <laughs> like yeah hey hey i know we was beating the shit out of y'all niggas but <laughs> let's highlight some of the inventions y'all made like hold on <laughs> they don't never want to talk about they always push the you know i get it you're supposed to celebrate black history and look back at the black people that helped us through you know the times and the creative black people but they it just like sometimes it feel like just a, a the- a break on, like, hey, we not going to kill y'all this <laughs> did month. You hear, did crazy. you hear about that New York school that uh, served chicken and waffles? No, nah, that's insane, bro. So uh, New York school issues apology after students were served waffles, chicken, and watermelon for Black History Month. Mm. And then uh, the school said, <clears throat> while our menu was not intended as a cultural meal, <laughs> yeah, okay. we acknowledged that the timing was inappropriate and our team could have saved more thoughtful our our team could have been more thoughtful in this service yeah 
That's not a bad lunch. I'm not gonna lie. Chicken and waffles for lunch. <laughs> What's the ru- I don't the care what day. Mean? <laughs> hey. I don't care what day it is. Hey, I'd have been pro- I- hey, I'd have, I'd have been protesting right outside with chicken grease on my. <laughs> hey, that shit was racist as hell. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I think or I think the thing that made it more. I guess racial was the added watermelon. That's a, I, yeah. those don't even go together. <laughs> the, the chicken and waffles was calling them nigga, but the watermelon was like nigger. <laughs> like they trying to call me a nigga. The watermelon, no nigger. Yeah, I'm racist, nigga. I want you to know <laughs> that was a finishing touch. Yeah. <laughs> like when somebody go back to that should like, better than a square pizza though. I thought you said squirt pizza. I was like. <laughs> Squirt pizza? Yeah. Why would you? Why is that in your brain, like your vocabulary? Squirt. But um, <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they serve them little niggas Roscoe's chicken and waffles. <laughs> but, uh, and they're mad about it though. I know they ate that shit. Yeah, they they capped it if they did. I, I bet you they was at the dinner table. As soon as they, <laughs> hey, this shit racist. I oh, no no no. Don't say nothing yet until we finish. Yeah. This shit. <laughs> Hold on. As soon as they finish. Hey, y'all really got us fucked nah, up. Nah, now let's go about tea up on them, though. <laughs> it's back to square pizzas, y'all. I'm grateful ass niggas. Now I went to the counter like, give me seconds or I'm putting this shit on Twitter. <laughs> oh, man. Jack, they're gonna, they're... I definitely would have took some chicken and waffles. For sure. And I school pro- lunch used to be ass. I, used to, I would have protested. I heard Michelle Obama fuck school lunches up. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to serve everybody car- cardboard. <laughs> 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 you know, like it's cool for like the uh, you know the kids in the suburbs, but like we went to school in the hood. Like, Man, I just got home from a shootout, bitch. I don't want carrots as my main course. <laughs> <laughs> I need all the protein. I need all the protein I can get. They on Fifty Fifth Street trying to jump me. Yeah, like. you need the carbs for after school. I need some energy, man. I wouldn't even protest for that. I would really protest for having seconds during lunch. You was just going to say sex, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Where is your brain today? I'm just saying, like, seconds because I used to be hungry as fuck after, uh, in school, after eating lunch. Right. And you always kind of got frowned upon if you went up to your guy to get more because <laughs> it's like the, because you're either going to take that walk of shame back with an empty tray. Right. Or obviously oh, yeah. you're successful. And they were like, oh, you get your fat ass. You know that right. type of shit. Because them lunch ladies, they, you know, they bipolar. <laughs> I get why at all. Yeah. Putting sloppy joe on oh, the yeah, for every the, day. For the person that commented, I don't know why I thought about this. For the person that commented about the um, the Jonah Hill other thing, they was like, oh, y'all, they definitely did kiss in that movie. Y'all just be saying shit. I sent you that thing. Wasn't it, it was a CGI kiss. They didn't even kiss. Oh, I didn't know that. Nah. Oh, and you said you just just keep your comments to yourself, yeah. man. We're not Mike trying to research to me. Shit. Shut your bitch ass up, not playing. You good, bro? Fuck Mike, man. Huh? All right. Oh, speaking of Black History Month, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Black History Month, we uh, were already speaking about. It. We never left. That's a good one. No, I'm just saying, you. when you use the word speaking of, it's I usually... I hate niggas that wear all white and get the acting hard. This is all white. This is cream. This is cream. Ass, nigga, man. This is cream. Talk that shit. Anyways. And cream socks. Oh, match your shoes, too. Yeah, yeah, Go crazy. Good fit. Come on, bro. Go ahead. I know you, you look... No, no. Because <laughs> your brain, when you do that, your brain is downloading the insult to kind of wait to, to save time. <laughs> nigga dressed like an angel. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. Uh, hood niggas wake up and see you, and they you take them to the gates. <laughs> it's crazy because if you don't laugh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on, bro. They cheering over it. Damn, that's. <laughs> you know, Go ahead. Speaking of Black History Month. <laughs> speaking of Black History Month, I saw uh, a Black History police cruiser. Oh, yeah, with the little Kente um, coloring. Kente coloring, the fist coming out. That's crazy, though. That's kind of, it'd be cra- <laughs> Hey, if you get caught by that cruiser, you only, yeah. get, ha- you only get half the time. <laughs> half like, the ticket price. Hey, you can it would have gave me two years. I got pulled over in the Black History Month car. <laughs> Shit, cut my time in half. Yeah. <laughs> they give you 10 seconds to run if the Black, hey, for you. 10 second countdown <laughs> You can get away boy We'll let you go <laughs> A police telling you You got a head start Is crazy 
That is crazy. I just say, bro, you gotta do like just arrest me now. I'm not the chase. I am not running from anything. I ain't running from nothing. (laughs) Let me arrest myself. Hey, that's how you get the cops off you. You're like, yeah, man, just put me in the back of the car, bro. Yeah. (laughs) You I even got my own handcuffs. (laughs) I already locked myself up. I could tell you I could smell the racism on you. When you're only going three over and you get pulled over, it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's been waiting for this moment his yeah. whole life. Yeah, he might kill me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. What would you rather find living in your basement? A human or a thousand cockroaches? A human? You'd rather find a human? For sure. What you going to do to that human? I mean, call the, call the pr- proper authorities. And- Whoa. What do you mean? What if he had a whole oh, human? I thought he meant a dead human. Oh no! Uh, just a person alive? Yeah, he alive. Just in my basement? Yeah. I'll just fight him, <laughs> <laughs> shoot him, do something. Whoa! Yeah, yeah I'm going you extreme. Can't do that. Yes, you can. So, would you rather? <laughs> no, nah, but it's hypothetical, man. At least the thing with the, a person, I thought he meant a dead person because I I saw that question somewhere. But I was gonna say that dead person just gonna be easier to. Get rid of wow. then. a thousand uh, cockroaches. That shit's like a process. You gotta leave your whole house. They gotta bomb the shit out of it, and then you still have to have those stragglers around. So, would you rather find a thousand cockroaches in your basement or a dead body in your basement? Dead body for sure. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, man. it's e- it's way easier to get rid of. Say you only gotta rid- get rid of one. Once exactly, you get rid of the dead body once, or call the cops or something. But a thousand cockroaches. You literally got to literally bomb the place with whatever they be doing for the little things, the cockroaches. And then, obviously, it might not work the first time. And those things have babies. So, you already got 1,000 cockroaches. By next week, it shit can be 2,000 cockroaches. And you know, that's just a, a, I don't know. It's it's way cooler to be like, oh, bro, there was a body in the basement. That's way great of a story. It's a crazy to, brag. This, but it's a better story. It's insane brag. But it's a better story than saying I got a thousand cockroaches in my house. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> At least it's Ain't like, that crazy? oh, it's like, oh shit, a, a, a dead body, really? Yeah. Who was it? This not a thousand roaches. Don't come to my house, please. Ain't that crazy? People, <laughs> people would rather come to your house if you had a dead body and yeah. some roaches. And they don't want you to come over either. They checking your bags and shit before you oh, walk yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Roaches ca- carry on. Exactly. That's crazy. You, if you had a friend that, if you had that friend that had a, a thousand roaches in his house and he comes over your house, you're definitely gonna check like his bags and everything before he comes in and shit like that. Yeah. You know, in other news, I saw um, Lotto. The rapper, Big Lotto. Yep. Uh, she said that she doesn't pay any bills, and she gets what she wants from her man. No, uh, okay. Lotto said that. Yeah, yeah. And I just want to give a, a little PSA to some of the women out there. That ain't gonna work for you. <laughs> Why not? Stop listening to that shit, man. If you're not in that financial position, I mean, her 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 boyfriend is. 21 Savage. Oh, allegedly. I mean, she got Savage his, married. She got it. Allegedly. Cause he's not Samantha married. The same name. Yeah, he is. He married. Oh, he's just <laughs> Look up if 21 Savage married. 21. He has his name tatted on the back of her ear. Look up if 21 Savage is married. No. You're a rat, bro. <laughs> he's not. They're literally not. together. No, they not, y'all. <laughs> I got you, 21. <laughs> but anyway, her, whoever she's with Thank definitely you. is multimillionaire. Right, right, right. There's most guys are not. What the one thing I want to say is, y'all ladies don't listen to that because y'all not lotto, y'all a slot machine, and um. <laughs> now you're trying to become fresh and fit. <laughs> the toxic, the toxic podcast. You get one woman um topic that go viral. Now dudes think you're professional. <laughs> Let me tell you another thing. No, but I think it makes sense though if you're a multi million dollar and. A girl, your girl makes music, and you know she got the money. It's just like, it's one of one of those things where it's just like I feel like it's easy to do. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's again multi millionaire. Would you let a girl take care of you? Would I let a girl take care of me? Like she was a billionaire, and she said, Mike. "Fuck yes, yes, yeah." <laughs> I'll be chilling if my girl what made a billion dollars. Yeah, pff, easy. You wouldn't do nothing. Stay at home, dad. Take care of the kids. Cook, clean. That's crazy. Why is that crazy? I still do everything I'm doing now. That's who you dress like today. I, I would do everything I'm doing now. That's who now. you dress like today. I'm not going to say who so you can get your joke off. 
Okay. So go ahead. Now nah, I'm not even gonna give you that little. Yeah. You ooh, nah, I, I just fucked the whole clip up. Look no, you at didn't. that. You dress like Mr. Clean. That's not even dressed like Mr. Clean. Yeah, you got the white tee. And you look like fucking Air Bud. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they had that dog in them big ass jerseys. <laughs> That's crazy. And that boy played every sport. White people love their dogs. With no scholarships. How is he good at every sport? Had zero offers. Hey, was, li- <laughs> hey, was licking niggas in their mouths and shit. <laughs> like, this is- I wanted a gold retriever so bad just because of Air Bud. Man, thought he could do everything. <laughs> we really was like, it was about a dog. Bro. Yeah, you know what sport they didn't put him in? It was boxing. Somebody <laughs> would have knocked his Scooby look. Mike Vick oh. would have been like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they would have said, I was like, I that's when you would have been like, oh, they made a movie about people fighting dogs, but y'all put Mike Vick in jail? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> put a pit bull on air, but I see if you do all that shit. <laughs> exactly. You, bro, there's there's like dog racism going on, bro. They can never have done Air Bud as a pit bull. Hell no. <laughs> they would have to use three pit bulls. <laughs> Like, yeah, we tried to put the first one in football. This nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga kept wanting to play defense. <laughs> Pit bulls do seem like they be aggressive as hell. Just yeah. hacking. They're like Ben Wallace. Yeah. <laughs> All know, defense. You know them dudes that's built like a pit bull. They got, yeah. like, real, real. They, like, 5'5". Five, five. They got that real small lower body yeah. with a big upper body. Mm-hmm. And they play center. Like, nigga, how you 5'5 five, five playing center? <laughs> Like, why did you develop a hook shot as a 5'5 person? It's always so crazy to me when somebody develops a hook shot. Like, yeah. Like, I don't care how many points you scored today. At some point, yeah. you were so ass that they put you at center, and that's your shot. Yeah. There's been a... Um, <laughs> there's been... Going back to our last week topic, when we were talking about... Uh, was it last week you said that with Germany? Or no, with uh, Russia? Okay. With Russia and stuff like that? China might have heard us. Cause Ooh, so, they sent over a spy balloon. Yeah, there was a spy balloon. What was I? I, heard, I saw they released like a bunch of spy balloons. Like, what is it all about? Trying to just be doing shit. But <laughs> so they were waiting to shoot down the balloon because they didn't want. They thought there was debris inside that could hurt people. So yeah. they went wait till they got like over the Atlantic, I think. And then um, they have, ended up shooting it down. And then China said, um, "It says China claims right to retaliate after U.S. shoots down spy balloon." This seriously violates international convention. So <laughs> China's saying that USA, <laughs> like, hey, now that you shot my shit down, now we can shoot back type of shit. Nah, That's like, like somebody leaving your, it's like somebody leaving their shit at your house and like you throwing it away and they now they want to fight you for throwing their shit out that you left on your property. Nah, that's <laughs> even worse. <bro. laughs> that's worse though. Nah, there's like, there's like somebody coming over to your house and just sitting there and when you push them out they go okay but <laughs> they go what you came over here yeah like, what the fuck going on with them <laughs> I think they just want to start some shit yeah so let's so- send the balloon I know they gonna shoot this shit down <laughs> it could be it says a spy balloon but it could just be a random ass balloon like we just gonna <laughs> we just gonna fuck with y'all I couldn't be president <laughs> it wouldn't I, the balloon would still be up right now <laughs> but they wouldn't <laughs> they'd be higher than the balloon <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gone. <laughs> no, nah, but no. Nah, what is they doing though? I don't know. It's kind of crazy. But I saw they released a lot of them. Maybe it was for China was doing it for more like <laughs> educational purposes. But like it's it was, in U.S. airspace. Like, like it's crazy. Like, what are you supposed to do? Just let it flow? Is that? Hey, bro, what is that? It, it's just some shit we working on. Just trust us. All right, <laughs> we can keep it up. Just trust. I would trust you. Like, hell no. Take that bitch down. <laughs> That shit was big as hell too. Big as damn, take it down with a fucking rock. Yeah. What type of shit is this? You were just gonna let this float over, man. Well, do people still uh, use um, uh, George Foreman grills? If you use a George, no, I think air fryers kind of take it. Over. Yeah, if somebody put my shit on the shit, like, hey, bro, bro, George Foreman was really tricking us into using a panini press hey, as bro, a grill. Hey, bro, you, <laughs> hey, bro, you want a uh, steak? Yeah. <laughs> If you hear that, George, you're like, what the fuck? Because all the grease leaking off the yeah. bottom. That shit was so inefficient. Man. George Foreman made a killing off Man that. made bank. What Didn't is- have anything to do with the damn grill, but his name on it. Yeah, his ugly ass went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, adding ugly to in front of any insult, it just makes it way worse. I shouldn't be talking about him, bro. He got a lot of kids. <laughs> One of them probably listen to the show. And hands. Hmm? And hands. You think, uh, I'm not scared of George Foreman. Why not? Oh, 
You don't think he'll still beat your ass? Well, I'm not fighting him. Oh, I know. I guess. Oh, I'll fight George Foreman. I feel you. Get a, get a statue made of his ass. <laughs> get too close. <laughs> I'm scared of him. <laughs> Fuck, I'm fighting a professional boxer. That's probably the worst person that could possibly come up to me. Yeah. I'll never get beaten up by a professional boxer because I'm never fighting him. Ta, ta, ta. Or you just shoot the double leg. Or that's true. <laughs> that's that's true. what some boxers don't realize. They think a street that fight. Word, but I'm telling you, you try to scoop Deontay Wilder, he throw one to your ribs. See, Deontay Wilder is a different story. That's a, a active heavyweight and a nigga from Alabama. So it's like, yeah, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. changes. I'm talking about anybody like 175 and lower. Mm hmm. No Anybody above that Then it's like you. And the thing about Deontay Wilder Which is crazy You know he knocked out A lot of people Before he like That's how he found out He could box <laughs> Yeah And he, he found out late too That's what I'm saying He was whooping niggas Ass <laughs> so bad <laughs> That he said I should try this Boxing shit out Yeah <laughs> That's crazy Like I know it gotta be hard To be a fan Of somebody that Knocks you out before Yeah You obviously can't be a fan But you hearing their name On TV Mm-hmm. I know they love that Tyson Fury fight. Like, <laughs> Did you see the NBA fight? Uh, Austin Rivers and um, Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba. I, they might as well just let basketball players just fight like hockey, bro. That I still never like. It's rare that a basketball player throws a punch. It's always some like extended at these dudes. Got, it's like I don't know. They I, got for me, seven foot reach. Yeah, and they still not throwing no. Punches. Yeah, no full extension at but all. I get it though because that. But if you're gonna get suspended. You might as well hit somebody. No, 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 no. Body no. shot something. It's a different suspension, bro. Like, nah. it's a different, like, when the NBA looks at it, I'm telling you, they look at the difference between, like, some of these NBA players. But if I'm going to get five games. That's, I'm telling you, if you made a punch, it would be 25, 30. Oh, shit. Almost fainted. Really? <laughs> I would have kept going. I promise you I would have kept shooting uh, my guess. If I passed out? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, damn, that boy on ecstasy for real. <laughs> Bro, that would be crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, they might as well. I, for me, again, I don't know. We got to look that up to see if there's a longer suspension. Who, who's actually throwing a punch these days? Nobody. Nobody ever throws a punch. Back in the day, Kobe got two-pieced. Kobe three. got two-piece. Was it three? Yeah. Kobe got two-piece. Uh, Chris Paul definitely, right? Oh, yeah. Who hit him? Rondo. Yeah. But he hit Rondo back with an uppercut. Could you be on somebody's team that snuffed you like that? Like, could y'all ever be teammates? Is this that something like? Not nah. unless. It depends on if they got a fair fade. I feel like once you get a fair fade, it's kind of over with. Yeah. If you on that level of like where y'all both still professionals. I feel like there's no fair fades um, when you're that famous anymore. Nah. So you if you're going to fight, you got to get you gotta hit first. Like, you feel like this shit's not going to go anywhere else yeah. but fist. You got to swing if first. If you're in a public place like that, if y'all yeah. both famous, yeah. there's nothing unless y'all literally, your, like, meet up. Like get hit, Sneak that two-piece in because there's after that, everybody's going to, hey, hey, chill, chill, if chill. Rich, if I'm not rich, I'm never fighting. Like, nah. you touch me, you're dying, first of all. <laughs> one of my security guards is going to kill you. <laughs> And if you really want to set up a fight, I'm still not fighting. I'm taking my bet. Hey, bring your best security guard versus mine. Yeah. And I'm going to sit there like a king. <laughs> the fight. That was like human freaking uh, cockfighting. Whoa. Chicken fight. But that we are, we've already talked about why this is that name should be changed. <laughs> That's crazy, though. Cockfighting is crazy. I know a lot of people went to cockfighting and were very disappointed when they found out. <laughs> <that> they <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Imagine it like, hey, bro, come to my cockfighting event. And he's like, all right, I'll be there. And then y'all all in there betting. And dude come in butt-ass naked like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. It's not that type of party. I should just go get my chicken in. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> it's winter, nigga. How you hard? <laughs> They go walk to the duck. Nah, walk into any event. I don't care if it's like you're going to a, a sex party. If you go there butt ass naked, you are way too horny, bro. <laughs> Nigga said, fuck the mask. <laughs> All that leather shit. Let's get straight to it. Nah. Oh, shit. Nah, because sit in the car. Sit ask in, we can get callers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sit in the car butt naked, too, is kind of insane. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I know it's hey, insane? Hey, hey, you I know? have a question for you. What? If you had to be butt naked in a public place, what place are you picking? You have to be. So you're just going to appear there butt naked. You can leave immediately after, but you have to appear in a public place. Excluding like nude beaches? Nah, you got to be in like a real public place. A real public place. <sighs> I don't want to do parks. Nah, you going to jail. Yeah, jail. Get the red dot. 
<laughs> um, maybe at like a like some type of theater play. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Oh, because they gonna think it's part of the play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because I can just do, and you know, there's like artsy people that might appreciate the art. <laughs> what would you pick? Uh, that dude want to be on the, uh, I ain't playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> that question was just for you. Nah. There was no right answer. You're a freak, nigga. nigga I would, though. No, nah, that buddy wanted to be at a uh, a Disney on Ice play right now. Nice <laughs> nah, like, jail, too. Damn. When, it, when was a naked nigga on Lion nope. King? <laughs> I end up in the Pocahontas oh, play. That's the baboon. That's the baboon. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ain't uh, supposed to hold up Simba. <laughs> I don't remember this nigga being naked now. Yo. Hello. Yo, you on Crash Jimmy's podcast. Damn, why you sound so excited? Oh shit, I made it? Yeah. Oh, the boy made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you made the cut. All right. Damn. We got a, we got a question for you. What's up? All right. Would you cut off one arm for ten million dollars? Nigga, already got one now. <laughs> you only got one arm? Yeah. How? <laughs> what do you mean how? <laughs> like how it happened? Was it you born with it or a shark got your shit? All right, bro. So one day, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was at work and uh, I was cutting the meat. Pause. It's good, bro. You got one arm. Ain't no pause for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you, dog. I'm fucking with y'all. I was born with one arm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, my heart beating fast, bro. Hey, you a lefty or righty, though? <laughs> oh, I, I'm a wait. I think I'm my right. You, oh, left, 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 left. <laughs> you, you left handed? He had to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would be a pro at knowing where hey, you at now. <laughs> no, I'm a lefty. Hey, I I would never shake your hand, bro, because, listen, <laughs> I just know that's the hand you do everything with. <laughs> hey, chill out, bro, chill out. And you know how you, you need your other hand to wash the other hand, so I know that bitch be dirty than the motherfucker. <laughs> hey, chill, don't be supposed to be like that, bro. Chill, chill. Yeah, I, I, wait, I, you just said that was your left hand. Why did you just look at you wiped your nose with your right? Oh, uh, wait. I'll, all right, all right, pause. pause. Like lie, let me explain, bro. let me explain. All right, bro. They, hey, hey, chill, 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 chill. So I was born on my right arm, but I have a right hand, but it's like connected to my shoulder, if that makes sense. It's called, um, it's like, it's called, it's called, um, damn, it's like. A hand uh, connected to your shoulder? Yeah, something like that, pretty much. It's called focal melee or some shit like that. So I think my is it, said. so is, you don't have an arm, but you just have the hand attached to your shoulder, so it's short. Yeah, pretty much. It's like that nigga from a scary movie. <laughs> 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 was that what you just wiped your nose with? Yeah, I that's mean, yeah. a little real as hell. Let me see. What you mean real? This is real record. hand. Oh, that's your left hand. Let me see that shit. Hey yo, hold on, bro. Wait, we, we cool and all, but damn. <laughs> oh, pause, bro, we just bro. want to see your hand. Your, hand, your fake hand. It's not. Bro, a fake hand. Fake. It's a real hand. It's so, a real what? hand. It's just really. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Small. It's his real hand, but it's just it's connected to his shoulder. Got it, got it. So you yeah, have like, two. It's just you have a I smaller hand. From, I just that nigga from a scary movie, the one with like a really small hand, and he like messed up the dinner. Like I used to get called that when I was little. Got <laughs> oh, damn. Then they used to do that. I like what what type of jokes you? What's the best joke you ever heard about your arm? Uh oh, I used to get called Nemo a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Hey, and then uh, it was like, oh, and then it was like other stuff. Like I used to wonder, like, bro, like, how would I get arrested? Like I used to always wonder that. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna tape your other hand down. To your <laughs> 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 the first nigga that gotta get duct tape. <laughs> this whole thing. I don't know how he gonna do this shit. <laughs> nah, that Nemo joke, you might have to you might have to air that shit out at that point. I'm not gonna, gonna lie. Air that shit out, bro. Holy shit. It is I, I mean I have worse, but like honestly, like most people be like, oh bro, like that shit must suck. Hell no, that shit like regular to me. Like that's that's better good, yeah. than you like, was born with it. Exactly. Yeah, so you just used exactly. to it. Hey man, that's like, real inspiring, man. Yeah, like I bro, I be lifting this shit like uh, like on my Instagram, but I'd be like, listen, like lifting like heavy shit and all. All right, let's go check was... it out. Yeah, but um, this, but yeah, like, has I this ever like affected like your dating life? 
Nah, bro. Actually, no. I think that jump be giving me an advantage to stand out, to be real. Is this to stand out? Oh, he actually be lifting. You lifting, lifting. Yep. And Let's heavyweight, see. too. Yeah, sir. You know, some fight. Nah, he lifting, lifting. But nah, like, that shit actually, like, helped out. Like, bro, the wildest thing happened, though, one time I hooked up with a chick, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know if she's trying to talk to you for this, but, all right. So, I'm going to take it, like, she was awful. But I remember one time we hooked up, right? The first time we hooked up. So, like, after we finished, she was like, oh, I see where the rest of your arm went. I'm like, wait. What? <laughs> like, what you what tell us that? Like, <laughs> 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 no, nah, no way. I don't know if I should have. I don't know if I should have been offended or I was like, "Hey, thanks," but it was like, "What?" <laughs> nah, <laughs> you funny as hell, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, I don't know. Hey, like, I don't know if I was about to be on my kindred shit. Be like, you got a pocket? <laughs> like, what?" <laughs> <laughs> well, you only got one pocket you need, but um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, peace, bro. You got something to shout out? All right, B underscore underscore rad two three six. You know, follow the kids. You know. What's good? What's good? What's good, play What you got going? Not much, man. It's Black History Month, so we decided to call you. You know. Hey, it's our month. Hey, let's go. So we want to ask you, what are some of the things you feel like? black people should get for black history month i'm not gonna lie it's 2023 i feel like we should get a whole month like we should we should do february and then like the first three days of march just so it can be even <laughs> you try to get that three days back huh? you try to get rollover i try to get rollover minutes for black history. I, do, days. I do feel like that was a shot to us like yeah we give you a month but it's the shortest month like that true just... exactly but what That's else what man i'm saying um, all white folks, I need you to hold the door for me when you see me. I don't care how far I am. <laughs> hold the door until I walk through the door and then say, have a great day. That's what I want. <laughs> Anything um, else, man? That boy trying to get the yeah. opposite experience of Ruby Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like I said, we need some stimulus checks. <laughs> that boy still want them stimmies. They still ain't getting the whole those... month of February, 2000 a week. Oh, Damn. Man. You know people are losing their jobs right now. Okay. Are they black people? <laughs> you can't say that, bro. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I would think a little bit everybody losing jobs and shit like that. Well, the series are for us. Like, I don't care about nobody else. This is our month. Like, we I have you, a I whole month. So what would, you say to, Where, what would you say to a white person that just lost their job, though? We were slaves for years. <laughs> we were being beaten having to pick cotton they'll be okay we're not having a job for a few months <laughs> they got money we don't that's why we need to send me but you know, the, you know the excuse people make when people make the argument is that oh but you were never a slave what do you have to say to that it don't matter slave or not that's like saying you know what that's a good argument, I ain't gonna lie. But still. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm gonna keep it a fuck with you. I was trying to throw you the alley you. <laughs> That's not a good argument. <laughs> because but listen, no, you, no, you know why? Listen. You you wanna know why, bro? Why is that? There's some real stuff. The reason why no funny shit is you a hoe. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no, but the real reason why is they'd be like, oh, 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 slavery shouldn't matter to you. You weren't a slave. Your dad wasn't a slave. And no, 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 no. But my great great granddad was a slave, and your great great granddad was a doctor. So right. you got all that money passed down, and your family's okay. I don't like how you point at me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all <laughs> left us. I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, my grandpa. Africans didn't come get us, y'all. <laughs> how we supposed to come get y'all? That's like they came get y'all in a boat. Man, I'm Y'all saying we like was all huddled up. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> What's good? Yo, What's up? Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast, man. How's it going? They're doing good, shit. Your um, your pictures and your profile kind of look a little dangerous, man. <laughs> hey, man, you be spinning shit. shit. Hey, no face, no case, guy. All right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. No fake. You got you to gotta keep the shiesty on you, bro. If you ain't got the shiesty, you something wrong. All right. <laughs> I got it. You getting by? Huh? This nigga trying to give his hood testimony. Hold on, Phil. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to ask you a question. My fault, B. My fault. <laughs> I forgot the question. The, the question? The tickling one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm guessing you got a best friend. 
a guy yeah, best I friend. Be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if your best friend started tickling you out of nowhere, what you gonna do? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna slap the dog shit out of bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck my best friend would? <laughs> Hello. Let's say, let's ask that nigga. What? Wait, he's there? Me, what the fuck would you do if I just took you out of nowhere? Like, bro, you're so <laughs> like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Hey, bro, ask, ask him that again, and then make sure the, the, the phone by him so we can hear his reaction. He so, I said, I oh, damn this man. I said, like, why the fuck you touching me? Like, <laughs> you know? don't go. What? what if it's like you guys are watching something funny, like a comedy show or some shit, and then, that nigga been not, and he like, he he you, know how, you know how black people touch each other? You know how black people always, yeah, like, yeah, touch each other and shit? Again. Yeah, we'll do a handshake, but we ain't, ain't no. Hey, I need that ass tickle me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh oh, nigga, my old grandma don't even tickle me. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> Why would you say that? Nah, your best friend being there with you is crazy. <laughs> That's funny. You said, huh? No, it was just funny that he was, your best friend was actually there with you when, you, when that question was asked. Oh, yeah. Dude, we, we getting ready to go pull up on these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say something. <laughs> Y'all niggas having pep talks Dude, like, yeah. Go. Y'all, you talking to that nigga like, don't get too high and get the cussing out the girls, nigga. No. <laughs> oh, gee. Nah, shit. We finna go and tickle on them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But I but the thing but okay, what if a girl starts tickling you? Like you go over there now. Now this you really wearing a shiesty, huh? You not wasn't playing. But what if when you get over there and they start tickling you, what's you gonna do? They start tickling me. I'm a goddamn. Y'all can tickle something else. Shit. <laughs> we pull that damn. We pull that thing out. Oh my bitch. God. Hey, I'm hey, gonna hey, let me tickle your throat, goddamn. Oh my god. Hey, that's an insane gesture. To someone tickling you, and they gonna pull his dick out. That's crazy. <laughs> hey. All right, Brody. <laughs> Good shit, bro. <laughs> hey, you got anything to shout out? I don't know, you got the shite, hey. so you might want to stay low-key, I don't know. Oh, man, hey, take this out. Hey, shout-out to them, shout-out to them Taliban niggas on Big Band, man, but you feel what I'm saying? You know hey, how from it's from where? From wh- where? Where y'all from? From what? From where? I'm from Houston. Oh, the Taliban? Yeah, yeah. Boy, 500 Taliban. Good boy, shout-out to them 500 Taliban. Oh, them niggas shout-out. <laughs> <Dang, laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, we glad yeah. we on y'all side. <laughs> no, wait, are y- <laughs> hey, are y'all the good side to be on, though? I, 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 I'm just saying, I, I don't know, the, I don't know like the scoreboard and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. I oh, the scoreboard? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh scoreboard moves silently. Okay, okay. Check this out. The ops, they, uh, the ops, they saying RIP, my dear partner. Oh, my niggas still alive. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we might be on the right side. Hey, anybody from Houston, though, we don't, we, we not part of nothing. Because <laughs> we actually want to go to Houston yeah, soon. <laughs> <laughs> but the, a gang, uh, but, no, not, not a gang, a group. Uh, a group y'all calling yourself the Taliban is crazy. But now, what, now what, what that what that what that what that nigga uh, Charleston White said? Like we gonna get in trouble? What that nigga say? This is it's, a, it's not a gang. It's a uh, what it is? Oh yeah, uh, a militia. Yeah, a militia. We yeah. Taliban yeah. militia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to that nigga Charleston White. <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to have the lawyers with the skinny suits, not the big suits. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. Appreciate you coming on, bro. All right. Y'all be safe. Peace, peace. Too, you be safe. No, you be safe, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kicked that pole on me. I'm forever safe. <laughs> I'm forever safe. All right, man. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I can only really hear you one ear. You can only hear me from one ear? You t- is that happened to you, Pat? Yeah. That's weird. Okay, whatever. He's just giving the listeners yeah, a uh, listening experience, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, bro? Yeah. Um, I'm from the UK. United okay. Kingdom. Okay. United yeah, Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. What'd yeah, you, man. What do you think about America? Man, I ain't gonna lie, we scared of you in America because 
my picture of America is everybody walking around with guns in them. So Damn. yeah, like everybody. Oh yeah, you don't yeah. y'all don't do guns over there. Y'all have the y'all have a knife crime problem, don't y'all? Knife talk. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of um, bold though. To so walk, cause I knife mean, knife is a close like a co- uh, close quarter type of activity. Yeah, but you see, with a knife, you got you got a chance to you got a chance to survive. You like you can run away, but with a with a gun, it's like a straight headshot and you're dead. True, 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 true. I, I got I got uh, I got a uh, would you rather for you lot? Yeah. Oh, you got a would you rather for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, ahead. go ahead. All right, all right. I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, since since you you two you two are like best friends, yeah. Right, so one of you, one of you, I don't know who, but you got a gun to your head, yeah. And the guy says, you, you, "The other guy has to has to go to the nearest sperm bank and drink all all the all the cum there, yeah, to to, to, <laughs> to keep the other person alive." Would you Would you help each other? Yeah, he just... dead, man. Yeah, no, he dead. <laughs> R.I.P. No question about <laughs> it, man. R.I.P. Because he already got a gun to my head, and I do it, and then he still shoots me. Then it's like, all right, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Hell no. Because <laughs> if you let me survive, I'm cooking you. <laughs> you did what? You, you are nasty. <laughs> Why do you have that question in your arsenal, though? That's that's the first question. Oh, no. It's, um, I got asked it once, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. Because, you know, like, I got, I'm got i really close with people, and I'm thinking, damn. Do y'all celebrate Black History Month over there? Um, nah. nah. <laughs> hey, for real, you don't? No, we don't. Also, oh, is this an American <laughs> holiday? I never yeah, knew that. Yeah. Really? No. Yeah. We Why didn't I? Didn't, I thought. Wow. What well, they celebrate? That's true. <laughs> Wait, y'all don't have no Black History Month in, U- in the UK? Nah. Um, we don't. Nah. It's, it's, I find it odd. You have not like because Black History Month. I guess it's good to celebrate Black, but like, I guess I don't know. Like. I find it. I find personally, I find it weird that you only get like a month, but you should get like the whole year. To but y'all don't got nothing like, though. Yeah, but I guess is this not a time easy. period that people like celebrate? They not is it oh, is it is it right? I'm. Do y'all get? We, is it bad over there for black people? No, 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 no. It's amazing. It's amazing here. Like we got we got a good um, African community. We got yeah, a lot yeah, of Nigerians. A lot of, yeah, yeah. You Nigerian? So we got. Uh, no, no. I'm. Um, uh, my, her- my heritage is from Angola. Oh, okay. Angola, Portuguese. Portuguese, yeah. Oh, so you speak some little so, Portuguese? Yeah. You know what uh, yeah. Batamunuku means? <laughs> Batamunuku. Batamunuku. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hang up on this video, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Guy, guy. I'm cultured, man. I'm cultured. Yeah, it is cultured. Yeah, yeah. Hey. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good, 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 good. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. You from Milwaukee? I am. That's crazy. I know, right? I didn't know y'all was in Milwaukee. Where, so where, like, you, where do you think we were from? Um, hmm. Oh, I thought, like, y'all was from somewhere else. Because y'all was, like, located in New York. Because it was, like, plenty. Yeah, that's what people like, say sometimes. The New York accidents was on y'all show. True, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was there for a little bit. We back now. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, I got a question for you. What's up? Would you hold on? Would you rather date someone who doesn't have a car or someone who doesn't have their own place? Damn. Those are both fucked. Um mm, I would say I'd rather date someone who doesn't have a car because we you know it's like Uber and shit. Mm. I'm not picking them up. But <laughs> so why would you pick them up though? Up. Well, like you know, if we hang out and stuff, but like you don't have your own place, that means you always go try to be at my place. Then you gonna try to move in, and I did that before, and I can't. Yeah, uh, well, that happened to you before. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, my ex was still living with his mama, so Damn. he was always at my house. It was a red flag from jump, but you know. <laughs> That's crazy to date someone that lives with their mom. Like, I'm not like, I like, you know what I'm saying? You got to give everybody a chance, but God damn. It depends, on what, nah. it depends on what age, though. How old Ain't is Ain't no he? fucking age. No, nah, it's really not no fucking age at this point. There is an age, though. How old is he? How old is he? He was older than me, so when I met him, he was 26. I was 23. <laughs> Oh, this, this oh my Wait, God. <laughs> that nigga a bum. Nah. <laughs> that nigga a bum. Nah, 
niggas is love, bro. That's <laughs> yeah, crazy, nah. bro. That's crazy. I'm trying to see the good in people, but you should not do that. Like, uh, yeah, you hey. should stop it. I would rather sleep in a Home Depot box. You know, I move back here with my mama. <laughs> Were you ever encouraging him to get his own place? No, because it's like, I mean, he was working and stuff. Like, well, really. Wait, was oh he spl- was he helping you with rent, though, at least? Hell no. <sighs> no. He, he didn't add nothing to my life, but, like, he was funny, though. <laughs> he was funny for sure. <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> Living with your mama got to give you a good sense of humor. You gotta, gotta laugh. have. Got to laugh in life sometimes. <laughs> Imagine yeah, waiting on your mama to get out the shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be over my mama in the shower real quick. I don't wait. Mano, you like, was on I gotta hot go water. see a room. Yes. Like, you got a room. That's crazy. <laughs> I gotta go see a room. It's he crazy. Told, he talking about lay down, baby girl. She talking about, I ain't getting on that fucking NASCAR bed no more. <laughs> Hell no. And it was a food time. It wasn't even oh, a real bed. This nigga's a, <laughs> hey, nigga, a nigga versatile. Like, hey, when the girls come over, I need, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to turn it to a couch first. <laughs> <laughs> then when she lean back, bow, it's a bed, too. <laughs> <laughs> they got this whole thing playing. Is that a JV no, basketball trophy? Out, <laughs> he had his JV basketball trophy on a nightstand and y'all was cuddling this shit. <laughs> so what was the point where you felt you felt like, all right, because all those were red flags at the beginning and, and you still stayed because he was just, he was funny? There's nothing else he provided? Yeah, you know, that was my nigga, bro. Like, I mean, we went on dates and shit, but... Uh, Did he at least pay sometimes? We ended up in a whole relationship. Uh, you said what? Did he end up, did he like pay the bill sometimes at least? No, no, no. When he moved in, did he start playing? Because they lived together. That's what I was saying. She no, said they never paid no, anything. He never, so when he, he moved in, moved he paid in. no bills? He never moved in. He uh, was just there every day, you know? <laughs> and they had they nowhere just, else to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just bring a bag every day. Oh, she, don't keep that bus with you. All right, so did the relationship end because he was cheating? Because cheating and not having your own place is kind of crazy. Nah, he wasn't cheating. He okay. just... I'm going to say, no, if he wasn't at, <laughs> was at your parents' house or your house... Did he, have a, he had a car, though. He did have a car, but get this guy. No, we we ended the relationship because he thought he was better than me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I did, oh you should have said. You should have said. Oh, you think you're better than me, nigga? You're missing one key element. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you have, don't a have a key. <laughs> oh, he had a key. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he had keyless entry to the car. That was it. Bro, not <laughs> even. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy to look at your man. Like, he put his keys on your counter and this one key. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Oh, what the? Nigga, is that no. just a car key? Nigga? <laughs> <laughs> They gotta knock everywhere he goes. <laughs> I know that nigga tired of knocking. <laughs> yeah, nigga stranded as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he, I bet you he be hurry up and taking your keys and unlocking your door so you get that feeling. Like I do it oh, for you. Oh, so. <laughs> Feel big. Yeah, unlock the door. <laughs> Need some Hell practice. No, nah. <laughs> he did a broken shit. Like he bought me a fake pair of off white and lied about it. Oh my god! Yes, yeah. when you say it out loud, it's like, damn, what, <laughs> the fuck he, was I doing? Where that? he at now? He doing good for himself now. Uh, well, shit. Appreciate you coming on, though. Thank y'all. I see y'all. All right, Have please. a good podcast. All right. How about I say you too? <laughs> What's one thing that would get your black card revoked? I don't, bro. Okay, I know how to play spades, but. The people that don't know how to play space, bro, why are they shunned? That's the dumbest shit ever. Would I ever come to your house and be like, you don't know how to play cribbage? What the fuck? <laughs> you not human? Yeah. What Do white people do that for, <laughs> for uh, Monopoly? <laughs> not black people play M- Monopoly, too. Who? Black people play. Have you ever uh, finished the game of Monopoly? Fuck no. I don't know no black people that play Monopoly. <laughs> but no, nah, space is one of those games where people take serious love. That shit... It's a lot of cheating that can go on in space. Like, yeah. What what I realize is like a partner actually matters in that game because you got to know like I what suck car- at spades, huh? I suck at spades. You wouldn't if you play with me because we would know just like that one game where we like got our like secret yeah. like stuff. That's all it is is communication. Uh, like what card are you throwing out so I know to throw a better card or a weaker card? I just know when somebody got a hand that's really good. 
They be slapping the shit out that table. That shit is so different. <laughs> <laughs> the worst I've seen somebody do that. That like that playing the cards like that and then end up losing. <laughs> no way. No I was way. Like, why the fuck was he so confident? That nigga celebrating down twenty. <laughs> what the fuck going on with this dude? Uh, I was looking. Uh, I saw a thing on like, was it say cheese or something? It was like Drake co-signs a uh, rapper. The kid's name was Wiz Havening. Mm-hmm. Some, but it's just crazy that that's considered a, a co-sign because Drake. All Drake did was put him on the story because he was wearing, um. His uh his Nike uh, collab brand, but He's that's different. crazy. That's crazy for a, that a story post. Nothing, no tag, nothing to be, uh, <laughs> to be a cosign. But just think, and I though. looked up and but the thing it worked because I went and looked. I said I've never heard of Wiz uh, having it. I went to his YouTube. He's not even like that like that big of a. I think he has ten thousand uh, subscribers. Right. So it's like that's kind of crazy that that Drake picture can like then like make people actually go listen to your music, bro. Look how. Any of those stars change the, like the can change the landscape of another star. Yeah, just so easily. Just I mean, it's almost better than money. It's like yeah. giving them their own money off one thing, off showing love one time. Automatically, when Beyonce started, to, like outwardly saying like, Megan Stallion's, I support Megan Stallion. I mm-hmm. love Megan Stallion. Boom. Like obviously she was already ascending. Yeah, but it's just like. I would, that, I would even, I would say more like uh, even the Chloe and um, and um, is it Hall- Hallie? Yeah, because I, mean, I think that's they're their related. Whole career. Yeah, yeah, obviously they're talented. Yeah, but there's other talented people. Yeah, uh, Black Boy JB was the one for I could think of that Drake. Like I never, I had no who Drake, idea. Right, I had no who idea who Black Boy JB was before that. We Luka saw Lai him song. in concert. When at Summerfest. Oh yeah, yeah. And he, that's the only song he played. He, no, he has some other ones. <laughs> yeah, one more. No, like two. <laughs> I, I don't remember them though. I don't Shout know. Black I, Boy JB. Yeah, though. but I, yeah, I don't know any other Black Boy JB song. There's another. You know two of them. Which one? I just can't remember. But you know one with Drake and he got another one. Do you know it? Was it a TikTok song at one point? Uh, uh-huh. I think so. I think so. I don't remember that. But uh, also, like when Beyonce does that Ivy Park collection. Yeah, she sent it to like you. like Ice Spice had it on. It's just like. It's like, are these people are already good, but this like, damn, if Beyonce say this, because you know you got those people that follow everything that celebrities do. But you you think a Beyonce cosign is better than a Drake cosign? For a woman. Because even the people you name, like Ice Spice was popular before a Beyonce cosign. I don't think, I don't know if the Beyonce is cosign. I'm trying to think of somebody, the only people I could really think of was the Chloe oh, thing because they were related. saying like, oh, right. Right, Drake just had a, has a better history of it of like jumping on songs, yeah. like where you might not mess with that person's music, but you're never going to forget him. Like Smiley, yeah. yeah, you're never going to forget him. You might not like his music, but you're never going to forget him. Mm-hmm. Whatever, I love marketing, whatever his name, going up yeah. on a Tuesday. I'm never going to forget that song because and with Drake's co signs, I think they're more visual and verbal. Beyonce don't be talking. I know it's just rumors. like the, yeah, <laughs> or just like she sent them Ivy. Like, yeah, the like stuff the, like that. The, the Beyonce's Ivy very collection. low key. Like she doesn't like her pictures on IG. Like no captions, Bro, nothing. Everywhere she goes, they it's like seen like a freaking like God <laughs> damn there. But also there's like in she doesn't go anywhere where there's not NDAs involved. Yeah. Like you're not allowed to take a picture of her. She has like that mystique, to, that mystique about her. Like I've seen Jay Z. I've seen someone recording <laughs> Jay Z. And trying to, nobody did anything, and then he tried to pan to Beyonce, and that's when his phone was taken. Yeah. Like, even Jay-Z acts as a security guard when he sees somebody recording Beyonce. I haven't heard Beyonce speak at length for years. Yeah. <laughs> she just, she just, yeah. <laughs> she just drops her album. You know how much money you gotta have to leave? <laughs> and just drop your album, no promo. Now she's doing these concerts, and, like, they have to do these bots and stuff to um, make sure that people don't, you know, because, you know, like the ticket prices are going up because people are using bots to buy tickets and then raising the price up like crazy. Mm. Like there's just like tickets, like stupid prices, right? And like $80,000 type shit. Right. But it's, obviously that's just the, the resale market. So now they're trying to do these uh, to combat that with these different bots and stuff like that. So you have to purchase it through that it's website. Kind of like the sneaker yeah, game. Yeah, like the sneakers app. That's what's happening with yeah. the sneaker game. <laughs> but... <sighs> That yeah, Beyonce is like she'll drop an album whenever. Mm-hmm. Don't say don't have to do no promo, nothing. Even Drake has to do some type of promo. Like for her loss, he did some promo, you know. No, he did a lot. That's the most promo. I've he ever do, seen yeah, he did a minute. But that's one. I think he like. I think this one he wasn't afraid of though. I think with the 
uh, honestly, never mind one. He knew it was a little different. No, I don't. I, I really don't think he wanted to promo that. I think we wanted that to be more of a surprise. No, no, no. I don't think it had anything to do with like fans. Period. I think that music was on the rise, and he got paid to make that album. He got paid a lot to make the album. Be- uh, and he uh, got- that's not what he said, though. I, I'm telling you, I don't think he got paid to make the album. No, 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 no. I'm saying he signed. Yeah. A, he signed a, like almost a four hundred million dollar deal. I know, but I'm saying he dropped that album to have that type of house music because also you have to drop it early because Beyonce was dropping. Then he dropped that just to have it because that was the wave and he knew the sales were going to go crazy on that stuff. I mean, didn't go got crazy on that album to be honest for him. Huh? For Drake, for Drake, that wasn't like a for that type of music. That's the highest selling music. You got to think. Some people he said so. What he said though, what he said verbally is just like he was making the music of the places he was going, which is those people like Turks and Cake, like those type of places where you hear those uh, in Europe. You hear those like the house music because it's, house music is not that heavy here. He's picking up a bigger fan. Base. Yeah, I know that. That's what you, I'm saying. You're saying he got paid to do it. Obviously, he gets paid. But yeah, that's, I'm saying like paid like that's a bigger fan base. Now he's taking that fan base to his next album. That's not what you said, though. That's what I'm getting at. You cut me <laughs> no, off. No, I didn't cut you off. I yeah, let you did. speak at length. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you just said he got paid to do the album. You, and you stopped your sentence. You no, 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 no. You're, you're trying to go to Insta. Look at it. <laughs> Why like that? <laughs> I, knew, I, I knew when you uh, when, when you lose a conversation, you always try to go I, to Insta. I didn't lose a conversation. It's not about losing or winning. You're right. You're right. You're right. right. But when Why you, you dress like Joe Budden today? Bro, you look like a fucking fake ass Mighty Duck. Uh, uh. <laughs> Negro League hockey is crazy. Negro League hockey is insane. <laughs> Cause there ain't even no Negroes in there. <laughs> There's a couple. It's crazy how we haven't like integrated that. It must be really racist. There. No, it's bro, hockey and golf, gymnastic, all yeah. those sports are just so expensive I to know. They're rich the players. Sports, yeah. yeah. So there's no kid in the hood. Yeah, I already know that too. If if they start doing uh Having these programs, I think that's what they should do. Like, have these incentives, like, somewhere from the government to, like, give these kids in the inner city access to different sports like that. I don't want it to. They don't want it to. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to teach them all at the... Uh, <laughs> Center uh, what the I don't even know how this is. Who the fuck is that teeing off? <laughs> <laughs> do I smell marijuana? <laughs> it's such an expensive sport to get into. The worst thing they can hear is, hole in one, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be sick, like nah, <laughs> it, man. If they let the inner city kids in all the sports, it'll be way funnier. Hell yeah! <laughs> somebody make a putt while the somebody was. Ho- making- you, I bet you they stopped the hockey fighting shit. Somebody, somebody in golf, somebody make a putt, and uh, somebody was talking while they make the putt, and they go, "And one nigga." <laughs> hey, <laughs> they would definitely stop the fighting in hockey. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> because because the same you, know, you know the thing about us, we just can't. Our pride is too big. We can't drop shit. Like yeah. no way you're about to like beat me up on ice. <laughs> this shit is definitely continuing. Yeah. And we don't let our t- we don't let people go one on one. We don't yeah. know the definition of that. Yeah. Hockey players be like and they teammates. Yeah. I, mean, I would have been skated in and just. As <laughs> soon as I see my guy start to lose, oh that's two to the face. <laughs> Get off my man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Slice a nigga with this shit They were saying um, Like a piece of pizza <laughs> They were saying the NFL Right across his neck Alright They were saying NFL teams Can no longer ask uh, Draft prospects If their mother Is a sec- sex worker Wow <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy line what? of question Like hey man What's what's your 40? Uh, about a 4-3 Okay Yeah Does your mom sell pussy? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I can't believe these NFL players been allowing these questions, and I you know. never see no, you nobody never heard no thing nothing. about nobody getting into a fight. <laughs> Nigga trying to make it to that first round. <laughs> My lie, they told him you didn't sell pussy, so you gonna have to delete that. Uh, <laughs> have to delete them pictures from the eighties. <laughs> that could get me to the second round. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's wild though. Holy shit, that's a crazy question to ask. <laughs> Did you hear about that? Also, that uh, twenty, the twenty three year old assistant coach. Um, who played in a JV game. In high school? Yeah, a high school JV game. Nah, what happened? <laughs> they lost to <still. laughs> Yeah, she did to go to prison. <laughs> they should allow people. Uh, you know what? If you a coach and you want to play, they should allow the coach to play. If you don't drop 50, you go to prison. <laughs> Off rip. You yeah. do two years in prison. Yeah. If, you, if y'all win, then you prove the point to your kids. Whatever point you were trying to prove. <laughs> 
You get that game. Every coach should get one game a season where they could jump in. Yeah. You don't drop 50, you go into prison. <laughs> or at least shot. <laughs> Bare minimum. <laughs> I saw her get an AL one too. Yeah, That's how you lose though from. a JV game? <laughs> a JV game, bro. They lost. Oh my! You know there's a, a LA a whip convention. A LA what? LA whip convention where people are, are no going way, around. Bro. <laughs> yeah, you, you see that video? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, that was a convention. Yeah, it's a convention. Oh, that niggas meet annually. <laughs> I thought they were just mad about something. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to look at it up to see if like there's the actual dates and stuff for it. But what that then made me find was um there's a at county fairs, there's it, one that says in oh I don't know how to place but a county fair but there's a whip cracking contest at a county fair. That's insane, bro. I feel like if you're still like, what use is a whip used for like in 2023? No, no, no. Like be realistic. Because they're not act, they're not there's not people that are getting whipped like black people are getting whipped today, like what else are they using it for? That would be like I mean it could be for like cattle. Yeah, I guess so. That's still a wild thing to have. <laughs> wild thing to have. You're not a farmer. Yeah. Wild. I'm guessing they're all farmers. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> they walk around like damn. All y'all are farmers. I think you can use I'm any not. other thing but a whip though, even to for <laughs> for a cattle. I mean, you can use something like a straight stick and a whip. A whip gives you distance. Nah, it's pretty efficient, man. That's man why use a towel them. or some shit. <laughs> Gotta eradicate whips. <laughs> Show us in the... Bro, that used a to, bunch of sheeps. Bro, that used to be so, like, the little towel whip shit. Yeah. I used to, man. Somebody did that to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. That, that's insane. I, I've, I've got, I got whipped with a towel, but not obviously in a situation where, I, where everybody's in towels. <laughs> There's always that one dude in the locker room that play too much and shit like that. That's when you got to start avoiding them. <laughs> Never. That's why I just started going to, I just every time after practice, I would just go back to my room and, and shower. Practice? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, what I play. You are showering in the showers? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did sometimes, but I, I would just rather go walk yeah, across campus. Yeah, some people campus. be a bit, little bit too happy in that yeah, bitch. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. There's just too much you know conversation. Sometimes too the, much conversation the, in there. The locker room talk is good, but like once we take the pads off, nigga, what is we talking for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You walking behind me talking about, bro, when we going to the calf? Like, nigga, watch out. <laughs> did you see Arian Foster was saying that? Um, the NFL is scripted? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> It's just the just memes put, out of that were just funny. That was too funny. It was funny. I like that. What I'm was like, your favorite one? What was the uh, funniest one to you? I can't say the funniest Why? one. I just can't. What was it the Demar Hamlin one? Yeah, that was. Funny. <laughs> that was kind of insane. That was kind of insane. <laughs> because it it's funny because if it was scripted and knowing that you about to damn near almost die, <laughs> that's, nah. how do you even continue like that? Like y'all had no other part for me. No, the Gordon My, Hay, the people that like right, the people that suffered like severe injuries, injuries like life is left life changing experiences. Like, yeah, Gordon Hayward, you about to blow out your fucking leg today? <laughs> like what type of? You said Gordon is Hayward. We said NFL, the NBA all of a sudden just like <laughs> yeah. all the sports. Oh yeah, all sports. Yeah, 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 yeah. that'd be funny. I'm yeah, trying to who script would have been like <laughs> the funniest script. I feel like everything that happened, like maybe. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, I was trying to say one, but I was like, "That's not even funny." <laughs> but no, I think Arian Foster was trolling, though. He yeah. had to be trolling. Yeah, I thought he was talking. I think he was talking about something else, and, and the- then he realized the opportunity. That podcast blew up. Yeah, off that. That's a good. I mean, that clip is literally being quote tweeted like probably over a million times. Yeah, it, that podcast is definitely blowing up. Good for them. You <laughs> said good for them. Good for them. Oh, they good. <laughs> they keep people. I didn't even know Aaron Foster was on the podcast. He started being on the super woke shit. Um, His what? Super like. Uh, woke? Woke. Woke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like black conscious? Yeah, like 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 uh, Dr. Sebi type shit. Oh, yeah. that type of woke yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> shout out to Aaron Foster. Shout he used to be to one of my favorite running backs. Oh, man, he was crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. But um, did you hear that Frontier Airlines launches all you can fly summer pass for three ninety nine? Those who purchase the pass will be allowed to be book domestic flights the day before and international flights starting 10 days before. There's always a kicker. It got to be something. No, it is. You have to book the flight a day before. So to get it's it going to be the, sold out. So everybody's not going to be able to access it. Yeah. So you got to, you usually, might have to pack your bags. Think you're about to go somewhere. And you might not get it. <laughs> you might not get it. Nigga, but for three ninety. 
but for three ninety nine <laughs> for this whole summer. Yeah. Hey, bro, I might be there. <laughs> See if we get this flight. <laughs> it's like, nigga, you doing the same? I mean, that's like trying to get a shoe. Yeah, but then that's I don't know. It can get messy because if you're doing Airbnb, you know they be pretty strict about the day the before cancellation. cancellation. Yeah. So you're going to have to be in the air making arrangements. <laughs> yeah, and it's right here. You can, you can get same that. day. You can get yeah. same day. You can day. stay in a, ho- like a, a hotel near the near the uh, airport, you know, figure everything out. But for all you can fly, you got to be going. Do people have that many places to go? That's what's going to end up running out. It's just yeah. like, <laughs> the only people it's going to really work for is like you work across town and stuff like that. I feel like we would love something like that. Yeah, because I feel like it would be more just going no. But I feel like if you did it for work work reason, that's way too dangerous. Right? You don't know <laughs> yeah. if you don't get it. Or yeah. Not. yeah, I may or true. may not be at work tomorrow. It's always something. <laughs> Shit. But everybody was. Con- everybody was. Con- I heard another airline uh, coming out with something. What? Spears coming out with free parachutes because you might crash on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I don't think the thing about those like that those they jokes. Never crashed, yeah, <laughs> it'd be the it be the private jets and the the expensive airlines. Yeah, no, <laughs> no major like airport has crashed in America really. No, 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 I guess. But um, Kyrie to the, uh, we just got news. Kyrie to Dallas Mavericks. Kyrie to Dallas Mavericks. You thought? He, did you think he was going to Lakers? We don't even talk about sports in depth nah, like that. I hate fun. talking about sports. But it says it, according to YouTube, a lot of y'all um listen to that type of stuff, uh, watch that type of stuff. Remember the in- insights? It oh, says a lot yeah. of them uh, watch No Jumper too. Yeah. So that means y'all saw this YouTube. By the way. It's YouTube though. Because all your listeners, it say y'all watch the Bitch Boy Chronicles. <laughs> oh my gosh! But on on Adam's podcast, uh, No No Jumper, him and um, House Phone, they got into a fight. I don't know who House Phone. Well, is. House Phone's some uh, another co-host that was in and out the, of the of the podcast, and I guess what happened was his dude's mom died, right? House phone? Yes. House phone's mom died. And they were getting to, uh, they were talking about how um, that when he was going through that time or something like that, um, that Adam wasn't like outwardly supporting and stuff like that. And then Adam said, I paid for your mom's funeral. And then he, he pissed, that pissed house phone off and he started throwing drinks and shit at him because he's like, you didn't pay for her funeral. You sent money for the funeral. And, but I don't know. It just, the, this is, it seems like no jumper as a, a network. It's just like a lot of like, Inward drama that's going on at that at that place where inward inward drama. That's how you say inward. Like oh no no, no 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 no! Just like, like inward. It's drama? just like you know, like it's like uh, if me and you are or like just on this podcast and we had an argument about something and we bring it to the podcast and I'm like calling you out about that shit. Yeah, it's kind of it'll be kind of odd because it's like one of those things where you you fight in house, you fight in closed doors, and you you know you just big each other up. People love that though. I just people I, like that, but it's I just think, like I think that's why not to say like that's why most people <laughs> listen to us, but we don't fake moments though, mm-hmm. you know, or we won't say like we've argued about stuff before. Mm-hmm. We don't say, "Damn, that's good content." Let's stop arguing. Let's argue about it on the podcast. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, I feel like Joe Button they did that about like that entry level like thing like that. I feel like that was something that should have been kept private. Yeah, there's there's some of that stuff on the podcast too, but I don't get like like you said, people kind of like that stuff, but it's just I don't know. It's always weird to me when you like call a personal thing out on a podcast. Where it's like, because there's funny personal things that's happened that we've said, right? Yeah. But like personal, personal things where it's like a serious argument. Because I don't think we've ever argued like a serious shit. Mm-mm. It's always been like uh, it would be a sports or a debatable type of shit. Like, yeah. But never like to a point where it's like, nah, nigga, you dumb as fuck. And then, you know, you did some dumb shit to me or you snaked me or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I feel like anytime people argue like that, I feel like that means you're stuck in an environment where you can't be around your real friends. Yeah. <laughs> like you're forced to be. It's like I had more beef in college than I ever will in real life. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm on a football team or at a college and I got to see this dude every fucking day. Yeah. And I might not even not like him. but. Mm-hmm. Me seeing him every day make me want to smack the fuck out of him. <laughs> There's people like that. Yeah, yeah. There, I, I knew I There's was like one of our friends that he cool, but I, when I every time I saw him every day, I just be like. There was there was times where I knew where it was like, <laughs> I wasn't like you don't have to you can't be everybody's friend on your team. Yeah, it was like my senior year when it's like there's people on the team I didn't know their names. She or I just knew their nick knew them by their nicknames. Yeah, but sometimes That's like crazy. you don't always have to be friends with everybody that your teammates. I with. knew everybody's name. Man. I didn't know anybody's name. Man, I didn't we, give we a fuck. In the podcast like that, I was I was I was elevating while y'all were disintegrating. We gonna do that on on uh, the next show. 
What? I'm gonna show. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give three uh, random Lakeland players and see if you can name them. Three random Lakeland players. The college we went to. Yeah. No. While we, while I was playing. Yeah. While you were playing. <sighs> three random ones. I just be minding my business. I was at the I was at the Bucks game too. Oh yeah, you was at the Bucks game sitting front row. I saw you go, Giannis, 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 nah. sign my chest. When everybody was like, there was a clip that I don't know if you guys follow us on Instagram when Giannis dropped fifty four points. I had no idea. Pat, Pat, Pat those is and I tell people this sometimes. I don't really like watching sports like that to be honest. Um, I've always been the dude that would rather play the sport, but it was good seats. <laughs> This boy is so freaking bro. Shut up! I didn't okay. say nothing. I'm not. I'm not even gonna finish my story anymore, bro. That's what been did episode. I say? That's been episode eighty four. You had a story. You nah, no, 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 no. I was. I had a story. I had a really great I didn't story. Even say anything. I'm not gonna say anymore. Though. I literally just got audio, up. Listeners, audio listeners hit me up. We jumping this nigga. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> anyway, man, this has been episode eighty four Crash Dummies podcast. Um, remember, if you make it this far, go ahead subscribe to the Patreon. We put some bonus clips on there. We're gonna put another. Little bonus ish clip that people might have not saw on there uh, pretty soon. And then once we kind of start building up and we got to get our schedule because we're about to move studios like in the next month or so. So, up- of this one. upgrading. Uh, so, I died in here, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what happened, man. <laughs> so, we just need some time to kind of structure bonus content and stuff like that. But right now, again, it's only a dollar for a reason. Merch coming soon. Merch coming. Okay, let's go. Hey, Come on, man. Check out. Fuck out of here, nigga. I, was, I didn't even believe that was going to be a handshake when you, you used your left hand. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to. And then we would have been like. <laughs> no. That would have been crazy. <laughs> And your hands bigger than mine. I don't play that shit. <laughs> How you know my hands are bigger than yours? How many times we shook hands? No, we shared gloves before. I used your gloves before. <laughs> my God. All right, this has been episode. Is this 84? I used your rubber. But uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. And hey, we out. This is 84? Yeah, this is 84. 84, we out, man. Peace. <laughs>